Joe Dunn were a bobby for football he gave all his time to that sport, he played for the West Wigan Whippets, on days when they turned out one short. He'd been member of club for three seasons and had grumbled again and again, cause he found only time that they de used him, were when it were pouring with rain. He felt as his talents were wasted when each week his job seemed to be no but minding the clothes for the others and chucking clods at referee. So next time selection committee came round to ask him for his sub he told them if they didn't he play him, he de transferred to some other club. Committee they coaxed and cajoled him but found he'd have none of their shifts so they promised to play him next weekend in match against Todd and Swifts. This match were the plum of the season and annual fixture it stood, T were reckoned as good as a cup tie by them as liked plenty of blood. The day of the match dawned in splendor a beautiful morning it were with a fog drifting up from the brick fields and a drizzle of rain in the air. The whippets made Joe their goalkeeper a thing as weren't he wanted at all for they knew once battle had started they d have no time to mess with the ball. Joe stood by the goalposts and shivered while the fog round his legs seemed to creep till feeling neglected and lonely he leant back and went fast asleep. He dreamt he were playing at Wembley and he wore of a thundering cheer he were kicking a goal for the whippets when he woke with a cloud in his ear. He found toward the ball that had struck him and inside the net there it lay but as no one had seen the serap and he punted it back into play. Toward the first ball he deep punted in anger his feelings he couldn't he restrain forgetting as he were goalkeeper he ran out and kicked it again. Then after the ball like a rabbit he rushed down the field full of pride he reckoned if nobody stopped him then appen he de score for his side. Alf way down he bumped into his captain who weren't he going to let him go by but Joe, like Horatio Nelson put a fist to the captain's blind eye. On he went till the goal lay before him then stopping to get himself set he steadied the ball, and then kicked it and landed it right in the net. The fog seemed to lift at that moment and all eyes were turned on the lad the whippets seemed kind of dumbfounded while the swift started cheering like mad. Twere his own goal as he de kicked the ball through he de scored for his foes against his friends for he de slept through the referee's whistle and at half time he hadn't he changed ends. Joe was transferred from the West Wigan Whippets to the Todd and Swifts, where ULLC still minding the clothes for the others and chucking clods at referee.